You guys always have great ideas in the comments, and once again, last episode we talked about this Zach Britton, which we got from the Kaiju series program, Organically Post Game. And in the comments, someone brought up the idea of taking program cards like this that we get organically and putting them on a wheel. And if we want to trade in a diamond premium pack for a wheel spin, we can add program players like this Zach Britton to the team that way. I kind of think that's brilliant. What do you guys think? Let me know down below before we make any decisions on it. I think that's kind of, I think that's great. For today's episode, this is the squad we're running with coming off a tough loss, man. We absolutely choked with runners in scoring position in that last game. Bryce Harper did hit a home run in his debut, however. Our guy, Ellie De La Cruz, was three for three with a walk. walk. He got on base four times. We are gonna get the job done today. This is the lineup we're gonna run with. Ellie, Julio, Bryce Harper, Jorge Posada, Lou Gehrig, Va uh, Vlad, Otani, Xander, and Brett Beatty on the mound in today's episode is gonna be the 99 overall Shohei Otani. And as always, guys, welcome back to Pack Squads. Hammer that thumbs up down below. Like you've never done it before. Go now. Otani is at parallel four. He's at 6,684 PXP. So he's good looking to be about halfway through his parallel five grind after this game. If we can have a good start. In 31 innings so far on pack squads, he has a 1.14 ERA. And we need him to come up big today. Let's score a bunch of runs. We also never opened our wild card reward pack from the start of the season. So we're going to go ahead and get into this really quick. This is a player that we're most likely not going to use, but we can just add the John Gray to the inventory. It's an arm if we, for whatever reason, need it. Energies line up. Post game, we're going to go through each collection very quickly after we open our packs, and we're going to do a breakdown on these teams and see where we're at. For now, let's download the Underdog Fantasy app with Coach Shelfie and get another W in ranked. We got the home game against Christian Javier, the 95 overall Christian Javier. All right, this is Andrew. I haven't seen him in a while. All right, waiting for our opponent to get started in here. We are going to be pitching to get this thing going just want to let you guys know again two days from now if you're watching this on wednesday on friday may 26th is our annual saint jude stream we're raising money for saint jude children's research hospital if you want some more information just come hang out in the live stream i'm going to be live all day long over on twitch raising money come hang out got him one two right here we'll go back foot slider fouls it off pretty good pitch though we'll see where his swing radius is up Takes that, 2-2, two, two. go to the slider again, more up. That's a good pitch, good take. Okay, oh, he almost R2'd me. What? Ha, oh, one on Robinson Cano. Mm. Lou Gehrig, roll that, beautiful. He hit that, he was, I think he just jammed himself on timing. That ball could have been crushed, to be honest. It's good cutter in on his hand, swings through that. That's a good sign. Get him a swing over top of this curveball. He checked our pitches there. It's one and two. Split her down. That's a bad pitch. Come on, Shohei. Good curve. Yes, Shohei. There's a pack. Let's hit. <laughs> Get out of play. Ah, that's worst case scenario. Wait, did that land? What just happened? One, two to Ellie De La Cruz to kick this game off. Crushed. Ellie De La Cruz, deep out to left, gone. That is a, I mean, he is a recorded and out in like six at bats. That man is a machine. Oh no. Okay, so he does he throw the fastball right down the middle to start every at bat? I, I'm so bad, middle, middle. Here's Bryce. Starts Bryce with a back foot slider. That's more expected. Ripped. Base hit with Bryce Harper. My boy is back, baby. Let's go. Love Bryce's swing in this game. Ooh. Hanging slider way out in front. Quick pitch is the changeup. Okay. Throw it behind us. Not on purpose. We'll get up to second base. Double plays gone. I like that. Also changes the way he come approaches us. Does he come right after us here? Mm-mm. Good hold. 2-2. Two -two. Oh. Again, I'm so bad middle, middle. You might as well just throw it right down the middle. Throw it right down the middle. <laughs> Good long at bat here from Posada. It looks like he quick pitches out of the stretch every time. That's his thing. Fighting him off. No. Oh, man. Timing was good. We were just a hair underneath of it. He didn't get under that ball well. I'm going to move up to third. Well, we'll be th we will be 90 feet away at third base with two outs here. Base hit will give us an extra run. I can't believe I just got underneath of that. Just got under it. Lou, ground ball up the middle. That's a tough play. Fold. 
No, nice play. We went down and chased that changeout. We leave the runner at third. Tallied up some packs, though. Good first inning. It's going to be 1-1 one here on Lou Gehrig. Being careful pitching him down in the zone with Shohei. I'm going to stay down there for now. It's not the worst pitch in the world, but I love it. We got him. Smoked. Caught in the air somehow. I thought we were going to have to run into the bag. I'm sitting here holding the controller down. Cody Bellinger in now. He's starting to hit the ball a little bit harder. We got it. As long as he's hitting these balls that are out of the zone like this, danger is low. Roll that over. Okay. Right, I'm going to go up and away here, but we're going to go with the cutter. Good spot. Let's see if we can get a take here. Just missed. Well, give me a jam pop-up to end this inning. Oh! That's a terrible miss. Blow it by him. Oh, what a take. I missed. Good spot. 0-2 now on Salvi. He's batting 287 with Salvi. Give me a good slider. Yes. Couldn't hold up with Salvi. There's a strikeout to end the inning. Gets one on. Still no hits. Vlad Sr. coming up. Ooh! Vlad Sr. 0-2 crushes a changeup. Hanging slider almost clipped the zone. It's one and two. Oh, good curveball. Good curveball. All right. Changes that slowed it down even more from the slider than the slider does from the fastball. That was a good pitch. That was a perfect time to hang it, too. If he bounced it, I'd probably take it. Oh, we're not taking that, though. Not out over the plate, sir. Oh, I thought it was gone. We'll just stay in second. A one-out double for Otani. There's two packs. He does it all. Ooh, Xander. Another hard hit ball into the net. 0-2 now. Ah, tried to get the throw cancel out of him. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Still got that runner here in scoring position. A base hit will score Otani for sure. Come on, Brett. Smacked! Absolutely smacked! Brett Beatty! Two-run tank. It is a 3 number. but There's the distance bonus. Add five more. Come on, Brett. Now it's Ellie De La Cruz. Oh, no. Oh, no. That ball wanted to be hit a long way, but I dropped my PCI on it. All right, Ellie flies out. That's the first time in a long time he got out. More damage done. We win another inning. 450 dead center. Oh, no. All right, let's not give the runs right back. I'm notorious for giving the runs right back. I don't want to do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I picked the wrong pitch, and when I, as soon as I started moving the wrong pinpoint, I tried to fix it and catch up, and it was just too late. It was too late. He was extremely late on the fastball last inning. See if we can get him to get us back in this for a zero. Let's get it to two strikes here. Sneak that in there. There you go. And now right back upstairs on Bill. Right at him. Disrespect that man. Another strikeout for Shohei. Kondo steps in a 1,077 OPS here. Taking off for third. He puts a beautiful bunt down. Nice play by Brad. He can't get it there in time. No. Runners are on the corners now. Might bunt again. Beautiful cutter, Shohei. Two strikeouts on the inning now. Two base runners. A beautiful bunt, might I add. Here's more Kami. Ooh. No, tell me I won't get him over at first, though. Ooh, bad pitch right there. He didn't take advantage of it. A little nervous there, Morikami. Can't lie. Have me a little nervous. Here's Lou Gehrig. Let's get the bullpen. Ah, you know what? No, we're not going to get the bullpen going. Otani's oh, okay. We're going to get through this inning here. Swings through it. He's so late on that heater right now. Give me a good curveball. Yes, we're 0-2. He's in a tough spot. If I put it right on the corner, I think he takes it. Spot. Gross. So good. So good that Otani gets us through the inning unscathed. Leaves them loaded. Oof. Almost. Timing's there. We got to pull the PCI in though. One down. Bryce cranked to right. Gone. Way gone. 109 off the bat from Bryce Harper. 462. Are you kidding me, Bryce Harper? It's 4 nothing. Another distance bonus. Posada in. Posada! No! The hanging off speed I am terrible with today. Terrible. Ooh. Again, another hanging breaking ball right down the middle. That time we actually hit really hard. We were just a hair on top. 
Left it there again, though. We're up to 4-0. We win another inning. Just stacking these packs on. Stacking them up. Ooh, Bryce Harper takes that pitch 0-1. He is allowing these fans here at the ball game to see some extra pitches. He wants, okay, now, never mind. I'm just saying, he wants the people who use Coach Shelfie at Seeking to get their money's worth here at the ballpark. There he goes, giving away baseballs. Now the 0-2 curve. Bounces it. Get a cutter in on his hip here. Too much played. I don't like that. Giving away more souvenirs. Bryce Harper cares about the Shelfie Seat Geek code users. 2-2. Two, two. What an at-bat from Bryce Harper. Swings over top of it. One great at-bat, but a strikeout. And he just homered in the in the bottom half of the third. 0-2 oh, on belly. I'm just going to throw a third straight fastball here. Oh, what a take. And hit the only part of the par that was out of the zone. Beautiful slider. Got him anyway. Seven strikeouts for Otani. It's a nasty slider. Honestly, went in a better spot than I even wanted it in. There's a good curveball. Xander's got to make a tough play. It was not even remotely as tough as I thought it was going to be. Let's hit. Vlad! Perfect, perfect! Get him out, yo, Vlad! Send him home, baby! Let's go! Two diamond packs. Let's stack. Bryce Harper went parallel one post game. Brett Beatty parallel two. NL Central Future Stars pack unlocked through the Team Affinity organic after the game. See, like, even like a pack like this, I feel like if we wanted to throw that on like a wheel with a program players like Zach Britton, and we can spin that whenever we want to upgrade the squad. I feel like that could come in handy later in a season after we've opened the big packs from that set. I know that we get our World Series and Ranked Seasons rewards as we unlock them and we collect them and open them as we go, but that's because we legitimately play Ranked Seasons in every episode. That's the one mode where, yes, we're, every time we get a pack, we're allowed to just add it to the team. It's a part of Ranked Seasons. And then, of course, anytime we're able to get a collection complete, we can use those collection cards. But let's be honest, most collection cards aren't even good anyway. Way, these the MLB collections are not good until we get them all the way done these are the only players we're really going to use and that's a long ways away 19 total bases five runs seven strikeouts that is including the Vlad senior at bat which we are going to count that's 31 packs we had two distance bonuses and I'm going to go ahead and give us a distance bonus for that Vlad home run as well it didn't get to show us the distance but there's no doubt that was going 450 plus at course, perfect, perfect with that exit velo. We're gonna count three bonuses. That's gonna give us a total of 46 packs. So we have 46 standards, two diamond premiums. Let's do it. All right, we got 43 standard packs and three gold packs. Let's open the three gold packs first. Nico Horner. You could get diamonds out of these if we're being honest. You could see blue here. All gold though. Now 43 standard packs will sim through until we get any diamonds. Hopefully something good today. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh! Oh, I quick flip and spam flip this. Who is it? Goldie! A 90 overall pull. Look at that. Paul Goldsmith, 135,000 stubs. Are you serious? What in the world? Oh, yo, that was a $100 pull right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Last but not least on these standard packs, it was least. We got nothing. All right, now we have two diamond packs that we can open. I am gonna open one of these Alter Ego Pack 2. Love the options in here. And then I don't know what I wanna do on the second pack yet. Might roll at this Diamond Duo Pack 16, see if we can get a roll to Chapman. I also eventually wanna roll the dice on this Mickey Mantle as well in a Chase Pack 3, but we could still get some Chase Packs out of Standard Packs if we're lucky. So for now, let's do the Alter Ego and the Diamond Duos Pack. Let's do the Diamond Duo Pack first. I really wanna roll this Chapman. Ah, it's golds. It's golds. And now our second diamond pack, Alter Ego. This one guarantees us a diamond. The, the 99 round would be nice, though. It's the 97s. Boo! I think I'm going to grab Tom Hinkie here, though. Max Free. Well, Max Free with his five-pitch mix. He's got a decent amount of quirks, too. Let's actually do Max Free. Let's take Max Free. We'll add a 97 to our pitching staff. Can't go wrong with that. We'll throw him in for Otani, who's gonna continue getting pitching energy because he's in our lineup. And now we're gonna go through these collections. Now that we've opened our packs, we're at 36 out of 40 on the Orioles. 
We are at 31 out of 40 on the Red Sox. We are up to 34 out of 40 on the Yankees. Still looking for Aaron Judge. He's going to be a tough pull, but we have pretty much everyone else that we need on the Yankees. Blue Jays, we're at 36 out of 40. Uh, the Guardians are at 35 out of 40. A Jose Ramirez pull is now getting very close to finishing a collection. The Royals are up to 38 out of 40. The Astros are at 34 out of 40. We have the Angels, who are going to be very tough, at 32 out of 40. We have the Oakland Athletics at 36 out of 40. Lots of progress there. The Mariners are at 36 out of 40. We have the Texas Rangers are all the way up to 37 out of 40. We've pulled DeGrom. Uh, the Atlanta Braves, who we have all of their diamonds and most of their golds now, are at 32 out of 40. They're going to be close to being done. The Marlins are at 38 out of 40. We're only two cards away. We are Gene Segura and Garrett Hampson from finishing the Marlins for the 89 overall Mike Lowell card. There's a good note. Now the Mets. The Mets are at 32 out of 40. Big jump for them there. The Phillies are at 36 out of 40. We can probably knock a lot of these out with the stub exchange in one of these episodes this season. Not going to do it anytime soon, though, because these collections don't help us. But we could start making progress towards uh, like Sammy Sosa or Mark McGuire. Probably Sammy Sosa first. Especially now that we just got Goldschmidt. I mean, come on. Matter of fact, let's look at that again. Now that we have Goldschmidt, we're 37 out of 40 on the Cardinals. Man, pulling Arenado would be huge. And he's probably not even that expensive right now. What's he going for? He's actually, yeah, no, actually, he's down to 25, 30K. We could do that. 94 stand usual. I'm just saying. We could start going after Sammy Sosa. Look, look forward to getting that done for like season three. He could be a pillar for us as a core player moving forward. For now, though, we're just looking to add to the pitching staff. We did that today with Max Fried. He's going to be starting in the next game. Great episode here today. And as I said in the last episode, in case you missed it, we're going to be uploading Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Pack Squads in Season 2. And we're going to be grinding up as close to World Series as possible as we can until that final week of Pack Squads ranked seasons before I grind it out and see how far high, how high up we can get our rating this season. We're going to start that grind much sooner at the end of the season. Looks like Jimer Condelario just went live as a supercharge as we're sitting here recording this. Can we fit him in for the next episode? Fraley's got two hours left, so he's going to come out. Jimer, oh boy. This man, 109, 104, 110, 106. We'll throw him in for Jake. Where can we put him? Do we put him in for Brett Beatty? I love my guy Brett, though. Just hit a home run, but maybe we throw him in there? Get the switch hitter in the lineup? Get another switchy out there? I think I might like that idea. We could do one of those. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. The next Pack Squads episode is going to be Friday, same day as the St. Jude stream. Come hang out on Twitch for that. Have your notifications on for the next episode of Pack Squads. It's going to be a good one. Until then, I'm out. Peace.